I want to get in that country world once again. Whoa! Morning! Morning! <laughs> there we go. We're getting our coffee going. Or are you getting your coffee? I am time? getting my coffee yeah. going. And morning, y'all, or whenever you're tuning in, asynchronously, as Asyn they say. As, as they say. Whoever they are. Well. I mean, they is just basically... Well, it's they. It's they. It's well, it's, it's them. It's culture. It's it's like whatever the larger society is doing. Yep. Unless you don't like what they're doing, and then it's just they. Then it's them. Then it's them. Exactly. There's they. And, and that's the thing, y'all. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, you can use they and them in a way that, well, it's all about inflection and tone and facial expressions and micro facial expressions and microaggressions and macroaggressions. Microaggressions, that's a whole nother story. And macroaggressions, there's just too much of that already going on. Yeah, well, that's what the news is all about for the most part. Unfortunately. Yeah. But we don't generally talk about the news on this show because this show's like, it's a morning chat show. It's about keeping things light and fluffy. And the news changes week to week. And, you know, we like to think these things are perennial. This show is something that you could watch any order whenever you like. Yeah. Whenever you feel. Evergreen. Yeah, because we're talking about the human condition, and we're talking about memory and thought and language. And, and the humor and of the, the humor human condition. Of the human condition, exactly, yeah. yeah. But yeah, the them and the they and the us and them and the... Us and them. And we talk a lot about language and the question of they, and they has gotten weirdly political in a well, lot of ways, too. Well, yes, say more. Uh, more. That was a dumb joke. I have to apologize for that right away. I can't even let that sit too long in the air without feeling sorry about it. <laughs> I'm just going to have a sip of coffee now. That's fine. <laughs> what land? Well, it's a whole culture war thing. You know, there's been a whole lot of kerfuffle about people getting to define how they get referred to by other people. Yes, and some folks have chosen to be referred to as they. Yeah, which is perfectly fine. And Absolutely. It is, I've been thinking since... God, it must have been junior high. I started taking Spanish classes in junior high, and I was a bit perplexed even at the time about the convention that if you've got a hundred women in a room and one man, you use the male pronoun to refer to the group. Well, now that's just a little bit of the domination of the patriarchy right well, there. Well, it is, but I didn't have that kind of language back when I was 13 years old. No. But I still thought it was really weird and kind of, kind of strange and kind of unjust. I didn't have the words for it. I didn't. Well, I mean, it's strictly on a numbers game. It just don't make sense. It don't make sense. But then I was also like, well, you know, it's not your culture. You know, you shouldn't make judgments for things that aren't your culture. And oh, this is well, that's true. Right. So I was like, all right, well, this doesn't seem right, but I'm an outsider, and I'm, I guess if it works for people who speak the language naturally, which is why I've been very interested to see there have been movements in Latin America and the Spanish-speaking countries to stop that shit. Just <laughs> cut it out. Yeah, it's like no, 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 no. We're not, we're not defaulting to men all the, you know, the male pronoun all the time. No. I also never really understood like how do you figure out what nouns are going to be masculine as opposed to feminine in romance yeah. languages? You know that the word the gets gendered differently depending oh, yeah. on the word. Like why is pen a female, a feminine word? La pluma. Why? Well, I mean, if anything, you'd think it'd be masculine because it looks like. Well, a very skinny... Because you have to hold it in your hand? Yeah, and, and if you handle it right, it comes out. Oh, boy, I think... That I'm... lets me into asking all kinds of questions of various individuals, but I'm not going to go there right now. Think, so, yeah. basically, what you're saying is it's kind of like an overexcited octopus? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, fountain pen especially, because a fountain pen, you Woo! get it wrong, you know, it gets straight up like that. Yeah. But it goes back Thus to the... That's the thing. word fountain. Fountain pen. Yeah, it's right there in the name. It's right there. Right in the there name. in the name. So many things are right there in the name, and yet we're surprised by them, and that that's the thing. So, like, how about some other examples? Like, what are some things that it's right there in the name? Fruit cake. Right. You know? Oh Lord, have mercy. So we were watching a TikTok earlier. I'm sure y'all are hip to the TikTok. I'm pretty. I'm pretty late to the party on the TikTok, but I'm loving me some TikTok. And there was an amazing little show. They're all little shows on TikTok, but this yeah. boy, uh, I think, well, I mean, I'm calling him a boy. He's younger than me, so I, I'm thinking of him as a this, boy. This, this fine young gentleman. He looks yeah. kind of like, you know, Captain America before he became Superman, you know, all built up. I just mixed my DC and my Marvel, and we get here from the lawyers on that. That's all right. But he's going through, and he's, he's going through old cookbooks, 
and he's doing recipes from like 1900 or 1945 or 1973, you know, stuff with Jello. And some of them turn out to be quite good. A lot of them turn out to be absolutely horrible, and you understand why it was the Depression. Well, yeah. That's where mock apple pie came from, I think. Oh, because you couldn't afford an actual apple pie. You couldn't get actual apples. You know, I'm not real you sure. you couldn't get sugar. I'm going to Google that, or y'all Google it and let us know. But there was a recipe on the, and we're going to come back to that wonderful TikTok, but there was a recipe on the back of the Ritz cracker box when we were kids. I remember recipes on the back of all the boxes, yeah. And this was for mock apple pie. And the mock part was you didn't use apples. You just used Ritz crackers. And that always puzzled me because I... I was this kid. I would go and I'd price the apples and then I'd price a box of, of Ritz crackers and apples were less expensive, so I didn't understand that. Well, and why, why would you ever substitute a Ritz cracker for an apple? Well, because Ritz, mean, the Ritz cracker people, no offense, Ritz cracker people, uh, they wanted you to use more Ritz crackers, I imagine. Yeah, but of all the things, why an apple pie? Like, it's just, it's weird. I mean, well, because I think, you know, the seasoning for an apple pie is not untoward with a Ritz cracker because they're buttery and they're crust-like. So you just add some cinnamon and sugar and I guess a little lemon juice. I don't remember the recipe, but I'm gonna Google that now. But let's go on back to that TikTok we were all watching. Right, so- What's he, that young man's name? I don't remember his name. I'm terrible. He's on my We're gonna put that in the comments. We'll put it in the comments. It'll be, well, the note, yeah. He was, he was so funny because he was making, he was making it out, he was making, a Christmas fruitcake and it I've made one of these right I'm I me and my mama made one of these a Texas fruitcake and uh watching him stir that up and his first bite of it was just hilarious yeah I gotta say I had some PTSD because I've eaten some of your guys's fruitcake before it gets passed around the family like you know it gets regifted a lot now now let's just be fair if you like fruitcake and not many people do but if you like fruitcake more power to you yeah, no judgment. You know, but if you like fruitcake... Not going to yuck your yum. Homemade. Oh, I like that phrase, yuck your yum. Yeah. Um, homemade fruitcake is the way to go, right? And it is soaked in a lot of brandy. Or rum. Some people prefer rum. Sorry, I got a hair stuck in my mouth there. Full disclosure. It's like, what's she doing? Yeah, I got a little... Mm -hmm. oh, I just figured you'd have some of that fruitcake before we started. Oh, my lands. No, I, I would be out. I'd be down for the count. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm trying to think of something amusing to say about rum, fruit cake, and being down for the count, and it just it's kind of it's kind of right there in the name. So bring me the country sound when the sun goes down.